Five teenage girls are accused of breaking into a far city home and stealing thousands of dollars worth of property, including a car. News 13's Megan Shearing is live from the police department tonight. Megan, the homeowner says he and his family were on vacation when the crime occurred. That's right, Darcel. I talked with him off camera this afternoon. He tells me it was his parents who alerted police. They, he says while watching his home, they noticed that it had been broken into and that several items were missing. Last Wednesday, four city police were called out to a home on Blackberry Cove Road. I noticed that, of course, the Jeep was missing and noticed the house had been broken into because when they walked inside, they noticed some stuff laying out that was out of place. Once their investigation began, detectives say it didn't take them long to track down the young suspects who broke into it. We got a tip that uh, some girls were bragging about doing it and uh, the, uh, Monday we were able to uh, make contact with some of those involved and recover a lot of the property. 16-year-old Brenda Smith, 19-year-old Avery Smith, 18-year-old Moesha Carson, 17-year-old Megan McCurry, and 18-year-old Rebecca Dotson were all arrested this week. Each teen is facing several felony charges, including felony larceny of a vehicle and felony breaking and entering. Some of them were visibly shaking, you know, crying, and, and some of them uh, really didn't act. Act like they didn't care. Arrest warrants show the teens took the family's Jeep valued at $15,000, as well as a laptop computer, Xbox 360, and numerous amounts of clothes and purses. Police say they were able to recover some of those items. It was a large amount of property, but one of the victims said, you know, this seems like a lot, but this is not. This doesn't even touch what they actually took from us. An employee at B&D Pond says Avery Smith sold them a ring. She's also being charged with obtaining property by false pretense. And I'm being told that Smith actually told the employee at the pawn shop here in Forest City that she was selling the item because she was heading off to college. Now, all five teens were given a bond ranging from $15,000 to $50,000. They're all due back in court on August 13th. Reporting live from the Forest City Police Department tonight, Megan Shearing, News 13.